Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. It's gonna be a q and I asked you all on my Instagram and on the YouTube community tab for questions you wanted me to answer and I went through last night and collected all the ones I wanted to answer and I'm here with my water and my fudge popcorn. My mom brought this home from Texas from Sam's Club. It's insane, it's so good. It's like fudge drizzle popcorn. Go get a snack so we can snack together while you watch this video. And I'm just gonna get right into it. If you don't follow me on Instagram, go do so so you can be included in upcoming videos videos or Q&A's where I ask for you guys' input. And I'm just gonna get right into this because I have a lot of questions to go through. First one, do you have a job? Yes, I technically have two jobs. So obviously I'm in high school full time, but I also babysit outside of that and I do YouTube. So YouTube is like my main job outside of school, but every so often I will babysit for families, especially my neighbors because a lot of them have really little kids. And it's perfect because obviously it's not like on a set schedule and it just works because a lot of the time it's just like the parents going out for a date night or the nanny will be out of town things like that and I can just help out. What do you want to do after college? Great question. I still don't have this fully figured out, but I'm pretty sure I want to study marketing or psychology. One day down the road, of course, I really want to have a family of my own, but directly out of college, I have no idea. I'll see what happens. It's up to God. And I wish I could tell you exactly what I'm gonna do, but I can't really predict it. So you'll have to wait and see. Also guys, this shirt got left at my house. I don't know whose it is. So if you're one of my friends and you're watching this video and this is your shirt, please let me know. It got left here in between like this big pool party I had and homecoming. So I have no idea who it belongs to and I don't even know who to reach out to to be like, is this yours? So if it's yours, let me know and I'll wash it and bring it back to you. I already washed it once, but I was like, oh, let me wear it for this. So please let me know. Do you plan on dating again sometime soon? Good question. If you are not, okay, there's a lot of new subscribers, so this is awkward, but I feel like I have to give you guys background. I dated someone for almost four months. It ended like, what is it, gosh, almost three months ago. I obviously can't like plan dating people. It's a weird thing right now because I'm gonna go away to college and like, two years so I don't know if I want to get in a relationship right now but obviously if the timing seemed right and the person seemed right I would not reject anything but I'm also not planning anything because I don't want to force something that isn't right or isn't like good timing if that makes sense and surrounding this topic lots of questions new man question mark there was a lot of those so um I, I got nothing guys I'm a single Pringle relationship advice don't date the potential of somebody. Unfortunately, a lot of times people don't change. It's harder to say now because like I'm at a young age, everyone around me is young and we still have a lot of like learning and growing and developing to do. But when you date the potential of somebody, you're kind of setting yourself up for failure. This is what sums it up. My mom once told me you're never a rehabilitation center for anyone. So know your worth, don't settle for anything less than you deserve. And I guess that's the premise of it. My mom has given me the most amazing relationship advice because she's always just instilled in me what it means to be a strong woman and to not settle for less than you deserve. I've only been in one relationship, so I can't really speak on a lot of things, but in her words, patience and never settling for less than what you deserve is very important. How's your faith been? This is a good question. And honestly, it's not been the strongest right now. And I don't like to admit that because I love to come off as everything's put together, but I have been struggling a lot in this aspect. And I feel like I haven't been talking about it a lot in my videos, which might be evident to you guys because it, when I'm obviously strong in my faith, I'm talking about it a lot on here because then it's like a public outlet and you guys don't see all of my life. It's like 10 minute videos, but you see me and like you see what I'm going through and I love to make the excuse of like I'm too busy or I have this much going on but at the end of the day it's all about like my priorities so I'm really working on trying to realign my priorities right now and put God at the center of my life especially when it comes to like talking about other people and this is not having to do with like one specific situation just as a whole in high school for me it's so easy to get trapped in like the drama and talking badly about other people gossiping like this is what's going on and did you hear about you know all that kind of stuff so I'm really working on keeping my mouth shut in a lot of situations when like my opinion is not needed or negativity is like not necessary and trying to uplift other people in the way that I talk about them and just not gossip in general. It's really hard for me because I love to analyze all the things going on. I love to be in the know, but that's not how God designed our relationships to be. And I feel like that has been a big stumbling block in my faith. I still am doing pretty well on like doing a devotion every night. I'm currently in the middle of reading this book. It's called The Ruthless Elimination of Hurry and it's faith-based. It has so much good, valuable content in it. And that's helping me a lot. Obviously I try to pray every day, but it's not easy. And if you're struggling, you're 
you're not alone everybody has something they're working on and for me right now i'm really trying to like reel things back in in my life to where god is really at the forefront of everything i do like obviously it's a big part of my life but i feel like i've strayed away ever since the beginning of the school year because obviously things started to speed up and i'm working on it how do you know if a guy is losing interest in you if you have to ask this question unfortunately he's probably losing interest in you it sucks I know what it's like, but at the end of the day, you don't want to be with someone who doesn't feel the same way about you. How do you balance the modern world slash social media with God in your faith life? This is a good question. It kind of ties back into what I was saying before, like the modern world, especially in high school. Everybody wants to know what's going on with everybody else, myself included. But I really try to just remember that God's plan is so much greater than any plan that I could ever have. And I just know, like I have this caption ready for whenever I have an Instagram picture to post because I was thinking about it the other day. It says in quotes, look what God is done this phrase popped in my mind when i was driving home from school on friday listening to the song in the second photo this was last friday i said it struck me and made me realize the amount of answered prayers i was obliviously living in so many things i take for granted every day and so many things i regret fearing over for lack of trust in god and his perfect plan it's always better than my own and it really is like if i just look in the past at things that have happened in my life i just wish i would have trusted god and been like he has it under control instead of worrying about the dumbest little things I'm stubborn and I like things to be done my way and the way that I want them to be done. And when that doesn't happen, obviously I get upset, the natural cycle of that. But I have to keep reminding myself that God's plan's always better than my own plan and living according to his will is worth it in every circumstance. What classes are you currently taking at school? I'm taking five classes, no six, wait, seven actually. I'm doing honors astronomy, honors pre-calculus, honors US history, I need to look at the rest. Honors American literature, Christian doctrine, which is like the religion theology class at my school spanish three and leadership what is your biggest dream i have so many dreams i think a lot in the future and i love to think a lot in the future but I think of all of them, my biggest dream is to be a mom and have kids and a family of my own one day. The idea of that in my head just is like the greatest, coolest thing ever. My legs are like giving out because I'm sitting on my knees. Ow, this happens every single time that I film. My legs like give out and I have to stop sitting on my knees because like these are my legs. And I'm sitting like that with my legs folded and my ankles just die out. Okay, has it been weird not having a boyfriend? I honestly like, I don't want anyone to watch this and be like, oh, she's heartless. Like she didn't give anything to her, the relationship because I really did but I don't think it was long enough for me to get used to it because that was my first relationship like I said so I don't think it was long enough for me to like get used to having one if that makes any sense what advice has helped you the most in your life this is a good question and I feel like I could go on and on for this but one thing that I saw that I have thought about a lot is something along the lines of, like if it won't matter in five years don't spend more than five minutes worrying about it and that has helped me think really logically with a lot of things and be like oh I'm overthinking this it's really not that big of a deal and it helps me make decisions easier and it really is true like there's no need to worry about something if it's super little and won't have that big of an impact what's your perspective on modesty also i love your content thank you so much i think modesty is obviously has to do with what you wear on the outside and your clothing but it's also more of a heart posture like i know if i'm dressing a certain way and i want to look good for like a guy or if i want to go take instagram pictures that are like giving off a certain vibe I, you guys know what i mean you know why you're dressing for something and i feel like a lot of it has to do with your intentions because if you're taking Instagram pictures for like the validation of others to like compliment your body or for a guy that's not the right guy for you if somebody just cares about your body also you're gonna attract what you put out there if you know what i mean this is a very controversial topic but that's what i would say are you in any clubs or what are your extracurriculars yes i am in three clubs we actually just had club rush at my school so i'm in three clubs i'm doing sideline cheer as a lot of you guys know i'm in nhs which is national honor society and i'm the vice president for my class so i got a lot going on but I love it. Did you finish all the books you bought at Barnes and Noble? No, guys, I'm so bad at this. I was so motivated and I bought them like in the middle of the summer. I almost am finished with the first one. I only have like 20 pages left, I think. Haven't read a single page of Malibu Rising. This one I'm like part way into. And then this one back here is called The People We Meet on Vacation. Haven't read a single page. So I'm not doing very well, but 
Um, I'm hoping to do better. We'll see. I get into bed and I try to read before I go to bed and then I just pass out every single time because I'm so exhausted. What's the first thing you instantly notice about people? Guys, look, Allie got new glasses. But Someone I've been really asked busy. where she so was. you've been missing me. Here's that question. She's been at cheer. She's literally addicted to cheer. Okay, I was going to say the first thing I notice about people is like kind of how they interact in social situations and usually like their smile or their laugh. I love hearing people's laugh. It's random, but it just like makes me happy to hear other people happy. What kind of car do you have? I have a Mazda. Margo the Mazda is like my pride and joy. I bought her all on my own. Thanks to you guys and all of your support. I just know the day I get rid of that car will be a devastating day because I got it right after I got my license and it's that's so many memories are attached to that vehicle. Next one, does Allie have a job? Yes, she does. She coaches the little younger teams at her cheer gym and that's what she does. So that's why she's always gone at cheer because sometimes she's working. Can you show us your dog? Yeah, I, she was just here and then I kicked her out. The people want to see Reba. People want to see Hammy. Also the hamster. Someone asked about our hamster, Georgia. Yeah, she she's can't. so cute and sweet. She also loves to be held. Do you and your twin ever get competitive regarding boys or clothes? Clothes all the time. We fight incessantly about stealing each other's clothes, wearing each other's clothes. Um, the amount of times I paid Allie and she's paid me to wear things because we're too stubborn is astronomical. But boys, no. We've never fought over a boy and I hope we never do because that would be very weird. Are you planning on doing Vlogmas this year? I hope so. It's going to be very hectic, but sorry, I need to fix the angle again. Hopefully, even if it's just like I don't upload on the weekends, I only upload during the week, something like that. I will attempt Vlogmas and we'll see how it goes. When in the look for finding a boyfriend, casually speaking, is it easier to first be friends and warm up that way or find a complete stranger? Are you more guy for... Or, Wait, I'm blind. Are more guy friends better for you or worse? Love you, Katie, and your videos. Thank you so much. Um, I would say definitely friends because then you can see how that person treats other people, which is like pretty important. I feel like if it's a complete stranger, I'd be a little more nervous. And also you can get your friend's opinion on that person because sometimes if you're just blinded by someone's like appearance or like blinded by love, you know. You don't really see those red flags and that might cause problems. How to get a guy interested, what to talk about over text. There's a lot of things to talk about. Just look up like conversation starters on Google if you don't feel comfortable about that stuff. But you should never feel like you have to get a guy interested. Obviously you can start talking to somebody as a friend, but after you express your interest, you should never be forcing someone to like you or to be interested because then it's not genuine. What do you use to edit your videos? This is a question I get all the time and I use iMovie. I have a couple little like special tricks that I use to make things more interesting than what iMovie already gives you because sorry iMovie but it's kind of boring. So if you want to watch a video all about that that I made, I made this video a while ago. I'll link it down below, but it includes a lot of the same tricks and like hacks I use to make my videos look cute without having to spend the money on Final Cut. I kind of already need a lot of them. <gasps> That's my fave. Do you want, you want all? some? It's oh, so we can get it again. Cause it can we order it online? Maybe. If you learn anything from this video, if, you'll get it. Okay, these. so. Come here. We got Sam's hey, Club. Get it at Sam's Club if you have a Sam's Club. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, that concludes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. What should they do? No, don't run away. Like and subscribe. I'm gonna stop eating on camera. It's like unprofessional. If you have any more questions that did not get answered in this video, leave them in the comments and I will do my best to answer them there. Hope you guys are having a great week and I will see you on Sunday for school vlogs. Don't wanna miss it. Bye, guys. I have chocolate all over my hands.